Well, David, I got a question for you. I've got a couple beams in this house. I'm going to probably have to run some plumbing and some sure. electrical through. Uh, typically, we can't do that. And I want to know, uh, know about your new product here. Well, typically, you're right. If you were needing to run through a beam, we'd tell you go somewhere else. You'd have to route around it. We have a new product. We're speaking a little bit and showcasing it as timber strand. We also make it in heavy duty headers. We talked about light duty headers, but you're able to put holes in it. Really? I know. It's kind of strange. And we've That's spent right. years telling plumbers, electricians, to and everybody don't, don't, don't touch it. it. That's right. Well, we've developed this product with different values so that we can actually route some electrical and some plumbing through it. And we actually print on the product because we spent so many years telling you not to touch it. We spent so many years telling inspectors not to touch it that we decided to go ahead and put it on the product. It says round holes on with a dashed line. That dashed line represents the maximum diameter of a hole you can cut in that. Stay in between those lines and go on through. Well, most of my plumbing pipes are around three inches. Sure. Is this, this going to accommodate that? Depending on the depth of the product, a nine and a half, which when you're using in a beam application, you get a three inch hole. Really? So you can get up to a four and five eighths once you go up to a fourteen. So you you have a product down. that can pretty much accommodate most mechanical trades. Fortunately, in this product, your guys are accustomed to using eye joist. That's right. We have one rule in eye joist: you're two times the diameter of the largest hole away from it before you cut the next hole. So in this case, I'm going to tell you, cut your hole. If you cut a four inch hole. I need you to be eight inches away from that four inch hole before you cut the next four inch hole. So if we had a good plan, I mean your software can show us this, it can it can help determine where we, where we can drill holes. So if it, I get my mechanical trace together in the beginning during the planning stage, uh, we, we can plan for this and size beams appropriately. So you actually have this product now, right? Absolutely. And it, it's, it's strange to look at it that way, but from a structural perspective, if we're going in pre-planning for the mechanicals, we can actually help you reduce the waste that they're going to uh, see on the job site by showing them exactly where to go with their product as well.